What's up, Waterboy Gang, and welcome to another exciting episode of the Waterboy Vlog. Today's question is, social media, do you like it? Do you not? Why or why not? Like, just an overall aspect, do you think social media is a good thing? Why? Or do you think that social media is a bad thing for people? Let me know down in the comment section below. My answer is uh, soon to come later on in the vlog, so stay tuned. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. Good morning, Waterboy gang. Currently just woke up, so yeah, I kind of, I look like this. Hashtag woke up like this. Yeah. I wanna punch me in the face too. Can you say good morning to the Waterboy gang, Brayden? Yeah. yeah, close enough. Ah, the power of the pen is much mightier than the power of the sword, son. <laughs> he gets it, he knows. I'm just having my morning coffin here, and we're about to coffin. Coffee, I'm not a vampire. So Kelly actually bought one of the like things that you hook onto the back of a bike that Brayden sits in. I don't know what they're called, like a little buggy type deal. Kelly bought one of those and she was using it yesterday and I want to try it. So me and little man, we're gonna go for a bike ride here in a little bit. Part of that whole, you know, exercise thing. Walk. <laughs> Gotta tell you, it feels really good to be back uh, vlogging again, don't you think, Brayden? <laughs> oh, are you pooping? <laughs> Sorry, he gets embarrassed <laughs> when I talk about his bowel movements on the camera. <laughs> We're gonna do a Braden takeover vlog one day. He's talking so much. Sure. Braden, look. Braden, look, it's you. It's you. It's a little piglet. It's you on there. Little piglet. Piglet. Alright, guys, uh, as you can see, we got the bike and we got Braden all strapped in here. You ready to go, little feller? Alright. You know, I, I haven't ridden a bike. For like, oh, it's probably been a solid like one or two years, probably. Riding a bike while having a baby behind me and vlogging it, probably not the greatest idea, but anybody got time for good ideas? Is it brakes on this thing? Well, not so bad. <laughs> Let me start that over. So far, not off to a bad start here. Uh, don't know how much you can hear me because the wind. You see Braden back there? How's he doing? He's doing good. There are various reasons why this has probably been so difficult for me as we are already about five minutes in. One of which being that the little man is extremely heavy and I'm not used to biking with a big old thing on my back. Number two, I just haven't biked in a while so it is weird and my body's not used to this type of motion. Or number three, I'm fat as f Unfortunately, it's probably one of the latter which really sucks. I do take a quick, uh, quick uh, little pit stop here to admire the sign. It says, every act of kindness creates a ripple. Spread it today. Which is a very uh, true statement. Like when you show an act of kindness to another person, it just kind of, it starts a, like a trending type of effect. That's why that, the pay it forward movement is such a big thing. I'm a big believer in karma. Good karma, bad karma. I truly like, I think that that's a thing. I hope it's a thing. So if you're kind to others, good karma's gonna get you. It's gonna come. Just patience and it'll come. This hill's a bitch. Braden zonked. Done for. Oh, look how cute. Good morning. Night night. <laughs> okay, well he's still sleeping. Kindness, ripple effect. So I understand, you know, there's a lot of negativity in the world today. And you guys probably know, if you follow me, you know my message. I, I'm a fan of social media. Like, I think it's a good thing. I think that good can come from social media. But, like always, there are shitty people who are going to ruin it. And because now it's easier for them to target you and be, you know, awful people to you, make rude comments, and, like, I put a lot of my life on social media and I, I've gotten a lot of that shit like comments and stuff like that. I've been called a lot of names on social media. I even had somebody make a fake profile of me posting extremely inappropriate pictures and whatnot. But that's besides the point. 
people are shit. Now there are a lot of really good people in the world and a lot of people are using social media the way that it's supposed to be used as a way to communicate with people from all around the world. But it, it seems as though as soon, as soon as somebody makes an inappropriate or a rude comment towards another person, it ripples, right? There's more inappropriate comments. There's more rude comments coming and the other person gets defensive. And it's, it's just a screaming match on a keyboard. But I promise you, if you just try kindness and you talk with kindness, you're going, that's what you're going to get back. And if you don't get it back, then that's just a shit person. You don't want to, you don't want to talk or interact with them anyway. The kindness ripple effect. It's a thing. Be kind to others. Others will be kind to you. I promise that's, that's just how it works. Psychology, man. It's psychology. All right. I'm going to lay Brayden down for a nap because as you can see, he is exhausted. Well, gang, ignore the ABCs in the background. Uh, Brayden and I are going to head over to the high school here because tonight for the musical, Thoroughly Modern Millie, Recording High School, get your tickets now. We have picture night tonight. And cool thing about it, Brayden is in the show, so he is, uh, he's gonna get to be in some of the pictures. And check out this shirt. Check out the shirt he's got. Hey, can we show them your shirt? Well, first the back. But no, we don't. Let's see your shirt. Can we see your shirt? <laughs> Oh look, you got a thoroughly modern Millie shirt. Are you so cool? Are you so cool? Oh, you gonna vlog? You taking over? Oh. Oh, did my fighting words, baby. So I ran upstairs to turn the lights on as we're taking pictures here. Cool. And uh, now I came back downstairs and I lost Brayden. And Kelly's gonna be here soon, like any minute. And she's bringing me Dairy Queen. I'm a little afraid that she's gonna hold out the Dairy Queen if I don't give her the baby. It's like a trade. Baby, food. Sounds fair. Do you guys remember the two guys from the musical that did that little skit? They're out there right now. They're about to sing their song. Watch it. Don't shout your gum bong bong <laughs> that awkward moment when the show's going on and he's singing right next to me and there's a pencil out on the stage and you really just want to grab it but you can't. Awkward. Wait up. Yes, I up. Save the whole show, save the show. All right, gang, that is gonna do it for today's episode of the Waterboy Vlog, but before you go, check out this sweet shirt. Your story matters. Now, these shirts are available on waterboy.com, waterboyvlog.com slash shop. Is that, as I've mentioned before, 100% of the proceeds from these shirts is going to be donated to Mental Health America. The goal of the shirts is to make sure that if somebody's struggling out there, they see these shirts, they read it, they say, they say your story matters on it, then they realize that their story does matter, and hopefully it will help them with uh, if they're having any mental illness type of deals. So go ahead and check that out on the website. Uh, I've got some exciting stuff coming for you guys, so make sure you subscribe, become part of the Waterboy gang to find out what else is in store for uh, for you guys? It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited. And otherwise, gang, that is gonna do it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe before you go. And as always, stay true. Be you. I'll catch you later. In three, two, one, go. So tell me, what's your story?